Good morning. Hi guys. It's Sunday, the 7th of August. And our two birds are back having breakfast. Sorry, you can't really see them. That's a little better. Brad's outside mowing the grass, so sorry for that noise and sorry for my coffee noise in the background. But good morning. Good morning. Look, it's the hubby. He's off today. <laughs> uh, we are headed for breakfast. We haven't gone out to breakfast in a while. Probably since the van was here, right? You're wow. a man of. I was we went the first watch a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. The one over oh, yeah. 56. I forgot we did do that. Yeah, I'm, like not wearing my seatbelt properly. Um, yeah, we're heading to breakfast, and then we're going to Bass Pro Shop or Shop is it Bass Pro Shop or Bass Pro Shops? I don't know which way it is. Anyways, we're going there. And I don't know, anywhere else, possibly, maybe, Walmart. maybe not. Oh, Walmart. So, anywho, um, my eyes are watering this morning. I've been like sneezing like crazy and like itchy nose and just <sighs> dealing with allergies. And it's been like annoying me at night. And I've been just sneezing like nonstop all day, today. not just today, but every day in the last like three or four days. Right? <laughs> Like, I've literally been sneezing so much. Anyways, Phew. I know, and it's like five times in a row, or like three, at least three, like, it's just crazy. But, anywho, um, off to breakfast to a place just close to us, and then we're gonna head to Fast Pro Shop, and then one more bread set, and then we'll see what else we get into, but, look at the gorgeous day. It's beautiful. Oh, and do you guys like seeing the cranes again? Although, update on the cranes and the birds and the bird feeder and the seeds, all of that. When Brad was out mowing this morning, he's pretty sure there's some sort of rodents that are burrowing in the hill that goes down behind um, our house, like to the pond. And it's probably because of the seeds. I mean, that's what just happens when you live in like a rural, I can never say that word right, rural. Rural, rural, rural. In a in a rural area that is, um, yeah, nature. It is what it is. But we don't want to cause any issues, like with mice and stuff like that, or whatever it is, um, possibly coming into the house and stuff. So that's annoying. So it's because that area is not landscaped and set and set properly. Yeah, so yeah. that's my issue. Yeah, so like we also think like it's also like what he said, but like the backyard to like the right of us, like there's this like big oak tree there that technically isn't like anyone's property. Technically it's like CDD property, but the house like sort of on a diagonal on our right behind us, like they sort of fenced it in and like made it their grandkids like play area but the problem is like behind like that one area of the fence like there's just like all this overgrown stuff and like I think that's where they're living because like we've seen the armadillo go down that way too and our neighbors have too so I wish it was just get it would just get cleaned up because then that would like help things but oh well what are you gonna do breakfast was good we got there at a really good time like really you didn't eat all of it and he even asked i know yeah was it good it's just their portions are big too but, um i was gonna say they had to raise their prices because of darn inflation uh, that's not what they wrote no it's not what they wrote But the prices are still pretty like inexpensive compared to um, like most places and especially with the portion sizes too. But anywho, uh, I was saying that it got really busy. We got there at a good time because there was like no tables when we left and there were people waiting outside. But excuse me, we are on the highway 
Wow, do you guys love the highway? But it is a gorgeous view today. Uh, heading to Bass Pro. And we've never been to this Bass Pro down here, have we? I don't think so, right? No. We were just at that Bass Pro in, where were we? Fort Myers, because of the rain that night. since uh, driving down to Fort Myers. So the Bass Pro Shop is in the like Brandon area of Florida, like near I-4. So that's where we're headed. Really? <laughs> what kind of voice is that? automotive community there. I don't know. Making a pit stop at Starbucks. Yeah. I'm sure going to go and get it for us. Uh, oh, you got a mobile pit order there. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Because <laughs> this one always on. Uh, it is what it is. It's that time of the morning. But we're heading there to Starbucks to get some coffee. Uh, we just had orange juice this morning with our breakfast. To get to this Bass Pro, it's like off the beaten path kind of thing. It's Shh, the, don't tell them it's off the beaten path. <laughs> it's like so strange. Like I it's. I think it's back here. Did I think so too. Way? I'm pretty sure it's this I way. I should have went to the next light. Well, I think it all comes together though. Because oh, wow. there's the Carvana place or whatever. Whatever is that? What it's called? Carvana. Yeah, I see it back here. But. Like you can see the Bass Pro from like the highway from 75, but like it's just like in its own little strange place back here with like hotels and then the car. It's a car and a glass. Have any of y'all done that? <laughs> it's just so crazy to us. There's a nice Jeep in there though. Uh, but back here is Dave and Buster's and Bass Pro Shop. And then there's like a Top Golf, I think or whatever that golf place is called. I don't know, something. And then there's like an indoor skydiving kind of thing in there too. So that's what's back here by the Bass Pro here in Tampa. But yes, it is. <laughs> I guess it's technically Brandon. Is this one considered Brandon or is it Tampa? I don't know. Yeah, but welcome. Made it indoors. This is what our Bass Pro looks like. Brad likes the Black Rifle coffee stuff, so do I. We were at their coffee place in Pigeon Forge when we were there in Tennessee. Oh, look, fudge. Brad found what he was looking for. He was looking for the Grunt Style brand of t-shirts. And we found them. All right, just leaving. I actually bought something in Bass Pro. I got some sandals. I went back to old school Birkenstocks. Y'all growing up in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, you know. They are making a come, well, they have made a comeback for a while now, but I haven't had any. And I got a bright pink color, so go this figure. This you do when you come to a crosswalk. You stop, look both ways, then go. <laughs> I'll tell you in the car. <laughs> So yeah, when we were pulling in, um, Brad was like looking for a parking space. Looking to my right, not looking ahead, but I was also yeah. driving slow. Right, he was driving. And coming up to a stop sign. Yeah, he was driving really slow. It wasn't like he was speeding through the parking lot because he doesn't do that. But like we were coming up to the stop sign here at the front by the entrance and like this family of four um, like did not pay attention whatsoever. Like they like just walked out. Like they didn't even walk out straight to like the crosswalk. They just walked out. And like And then the husband throws up his arms. Yeah, like Brad wasn't gonna stop, but he stopped. 
like so and like he like you know how people get like really mean and rude and like that's how that guy was acting and it was just like why brad stopped he's like why it's did my own intent sorry sometimes i just have to confront people that got to be jerks about it it's i like, don't understand i, I that. just don't like, understand it's like i mean pink, yes is that a pink flamingo i think so uh, those flamingos but anyways like it was just strange and yeah. i just wish people would just be nice we stopped. They didn't think we were gonna stop, and he just got all up in arms. I'm like, I can see it all the time. Yes. Impatience and not understanding other people. Yes. I have no problem stopping at a crosswalk. I always try and show respect and stopping for pedestrians and all that. Yep. Yield, put a turn signal on. <laughs> all of the above. All that. <laughs> I still do it, even though nobody in Florida, 75% of, of drivers don't a use lot. turn signals, and I've always done that. Yeah. Like Once that's like in a great year, one of my, I might not turn, turn signal. Yeah, that's, that's probably like one accident. of my biggest pet peeves is people not using turn signals because like... That's what causes accidents. Yeah, that's like top pet peeve. Not all of mine, but right. definitely a, Are we a top. Are done down in this area? Um, I guess, yeah, off to Wally World, I guess. On a Sunday. <laughs> it's gonna be quick. Just, yeah. I know, so. See you all yeah, later. So we ixnade. Walmart. On the juke day. What? It was, I said we ixnade Walmart Ixnay because it was insane in there. Uh, the parking lot was just madness and I'm like, mm, I'm not dealing with this. So well, these houses back here aren't too bad on the left. Yeah. Um, so I decided I need, I want to go out to Michael's tomorrow and maybe Wait, Hobby Lobby. dead end? So this really doesn't? I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow, but we're just driving through a development ride. It's never been back this way, so we're gonna take a look through. So, yeah. We're driving through where they're building the houses. <laughs> yeah. They're a little too close together for me. I mean, ours is close, but not this close. The driveways are really small, and all these houses through here are just two car garages, so. I mean, decent sized backyard for some of them. At least the two stories have decent size. Well, we are gonna make one more stop before heading home, and that is the Home Depot. So, yay. Oh, 70 bucks for mm. the tree. They're cool looking. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think they're pretty, hold on. I don't know, they look like some sort of tropical thing. Banana. Hmm. 70 bucks, that's it. Hmm. Got so, some stepping stones. Look how, look all the bigger this is. Oh, look, and that's when they start getting... Yeah. Woo! You're telling me, that's like, that's barely... So maybe we'll get... so much better. Maybe we'll get some lemons sooner than we that's thought. That's awesome. I mean, that to see it at that young... Yeah. And it's already got a lemon. We'll wow. see. Alright. Yeah. We got two stepping stones to do to go outside the back lanai. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that one too. Can you guys see it? Wait, that's only fifty bucks? Huh. Are you kidding me? Well. I mean it looked very puny compared to the one I got at Lowe's, but Yeah. Fifty bucks? Thinking about an inside plant like that size. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I really think I want to get a house plant. I just don't know which one or what kind. I don't know. I'm gonna keep looking. We bought a little tree. Can you guys even see it? Oh, now you can. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I think maybe in the corner of the dining room area, but I'm not 100%. We'll see how it looks. Uh, I wanted to get the taller one, but they were like $70 and I didn't want to spend that kind of money. So I got the cheaper one. But now finally heading home. We are back home. Going to do a quick little haul. <laughs> you guys saw I bought the Boston baked beans. Um, our candy jars behind us, well behind us, behind me, have been empty for a while now and I thought, get some of these. 
Uh, first pair of Birkenstocks in the longest time. I got these. I'm not, like, I wasn't a huge fan, like, when this kind of material came out. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, Crocs and stuff, but, like, Birkenstocks are so comfortable. And I love this color. I love that they're, like, good to walk in, um, in general, and then in the rain. So I got the watermelon color. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, Arizona watermelon. I don't know, but super cute. Like the days that I don't feel like wearing flip-flops, you know? And like these like concave to your foot bed and things. And then the husband got three new shirts. Uh, first one, he got this one. And again, it was the grunt style brand. And then he got this one. And then he got this one. That's what we got. And then we got a little palm tree. I had it sitting in the corner. I don't think I like it in the corner, but I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Uh, let me show you. Don't mind all the uh, Halloween fall stuff still there. But like the leaves are a little bit too floppy, you know, kind of thing. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Gonna get some water to fill it up. Well, to fill it up, to water it. Yeah, I think it looks a little weird there. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Just gonna relax. Cause like I think Brad said in the vlog when we were heading to Bass Pro or maybe heading to um, breakfast, I can't remember. Um, today's his only day off until Friday. So just he just wants to like relax a little bit. Um, so we'll probably just, Ending what? Ending up? What? I can't talk. I, I, I can talk, you know. Probably end up watching a movie. We started watching one last night, actually, and we haven't finished it, so it was a Hallmark movie that we haven't seen. So probably gonna do that and just call it a day. But yeah, I'm super excited about having a pair of Birkenstocks again. Uh, because I haven't had one. haven't had a pair in, like, forever. And... Back in the day, you know, you were the cool kid. Um, well, this wasn't the only type of thing that was the cool kid, but you know, it was cool to have Birkenstocks back when I was in high school, middle school, whenever it was, maybe it was middle school, high school, one of the two. I really didn't want to spend a ton of money on Birkenstocks, and so I was like, well, maybe I'll just get that one. I probably could have found it cheaper somewhere else, but it is what it is, so. All right, gonna fill one of the candy jars up with these and see you all in the next one. Tomorrow, maybe, or maybe Tuesday, one day this week, I'm gonna head out to like Michael's and Hobby Lobby to check out the fall stuff to try to get a few of the things that I know I wanna replace. Um, Cause I'm selling, well, at least gonna try to sell quite a lot quite a lot of Disney stuff too. Uh, I just feel a need to purge some stuff and I know it seems counterproductive because I'm gonna go out and buy some stuff, but I just feel like because we have like the aesthetic of like the great room, I like to decorate just mostly for fall here, but not using like the Disney stuff in here. And again, to each their own kind of thing, but like, the fall Disney stuff, Halloween stuff, I can definitely decorate in like the side bedrooms over here. So, I mean, I know I have some Disney stuff on the front porch, some Disney stuff, but more neutral things throughout here, but like, I don't know, that's just sort of what I'm going for. I could change my mind by the time I decorate. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog, sorry. I'm gonna sit down, tear these open, put them in there, and then enjoy the rest of the day put some comfy clothes on and watch the rest of the movie that we were watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks so much for watching today. If you give, if you give, if you like the video, give this video a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure y'all are subscribed and hit that notification bell, comment down below. We'd love to chat with y'all and we'll see you soon. Take care.